back. It's the first video of the year and we already have a lot of cool stuff to talk about so let's get started. So earlier this month at CES, Mercedes unveiled the newest concept car, the Vision EQXX and it's um different. So different in fact, I was actually pretty surprised at how different it looked from the other Vision EQs. Things like the look of the grille, the headlights, the Mercedes logo moving to the bonnet. Even then, the biggest difference has to be the tapered end on the back of the car. But there's more. Displays are getting bigger and bigger. At the same CES, BMW unveiled a 31-inch 8K display for backseat passengers, coming to future production cars. So when I saw the screen size and aspect ratio of the display in the EQXX, I thought it was a bit peculiar. Don't get me wrong, I still think it's an absolutely beautiful car, but why make the car look like this? Well. It turns out that there's actually something that makes all of this make sense. And the answer is a thousand kilometers of range or 620 miles. Putting it 77 miles ahead of the longest range electric vehicle as of the recording of this video, the Mercedes-Benz EQS. So how do you pack a thousand kilometers worth of range into an electric vehicle and still make it beautifully designed? Let's start with aerodynamics. According to the EQXX team, there was a lot of inspiration from nature. When you think about how animals are aerodynamically shaped, then look back at the EQXX, that tapered form starts to make a lot more sense. And even though the EQXX looks different from other recent Mercedes cars, there's a lot of similarities to past cars like the 1938 W125 and the 1970 Mercedes C111. But being tapered alone doesn't fix everything. Unlike animals, cars have wheels which apparently were the biggest problem for the aerodynamics. Tapering this car further might have worked, but then that would mean a narrower or longer car, and then you're just compromising aesthetics. And this is where technical tricks like moving parts, special spoilers, and retractable diffusers were employed to help keep that shape beautiful. One of the ways to reduce the weight of the interior was getting rid of the dashboard, replacing it with that 47.5 inch 8K LED display. Now, as much as I'd have loved to see a larger display, it does make sense. The car needed to be as light as possible and having a larger display only makes that more difficult. And same goes for the materials. Uh, to keep the EQXX light, and I mean light relatively speaking because the car is 1,750 kilograms. To keep it light, materials like aluminum alloy were used for things like the brake discs. In terms of energy efficiency, there were a number of really interesting things that were done to squeeze out even more energy from the EQXX. The blacks on the screen are actually black. There's no energy being used. The use of neuromorphic computing to make information processing and voice control more energy efficient. And even sensors that detect how the wind is blowing, which the car can then use to tell you when to take your foot off the gas and just coast. And of course, it's nice to have expertise from your company's Formula One team to offer a little help. The final result is a four door road legal electric car capable of a thousand kilometers of range in a single charge. Now, will EVs need to match this in order for them to make sense? No. With electric cars being able to charge within minutes and charging stations becoming more widely available, you definitely would need a thousand kilometers worth of range packed into your car. However, projects like these do help push boundaries and it's definitely great to see what's possible. But let me know what you think of the EQXX. Were you a fan of the design? What feature did you find most interesting? Let me know in the comment section below. That is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.